welcome to the flash email form using PHP tutorial provided by masterflash.net. This video is only a sample of bits and pieces of what you can find in the two and a half to three hour full tutorial that is uh, located on masterflash.net. What we're going to do right here is we're going to drop you in about 45 minutes into part one where we're talking about uh, restricting characters in text boxes and uh, setting up uh, some scroll bars on the uh, message box. So we need to take our instance name of our email text, all right, because we're going to restrict the email to uh, capital and lowercase letters, numbers, and obviously the only items that would be included inside of an email address. All right, so we're going to say email underscore name dot restrict equals, all right, and how to set this up is opening quotation marks, we put A hyphen Z, all right, just a space, lowercase a, hyphen lowercase z just a space zero hyphen nine uh, explanation point and then we can put um, you know that basically is going to divide what we're putting in here so we're going to say uh, we need a period so they can put a dot com or you know obviously if somebody's working on a name basis it could be you know k dot donovan at you know whatever dot com all right so after the period, go ahead and comma, we need to insert the at sign, all right? We're also gonna include the hyphen and an underscore symbol, all right? So we're gonna say, um, uh, let's see, uh, backslash hyphen, backslash, backslash, space, backslash, backslash, underscore, backslash, backslash, close it off with a closing quotation marks, put a semicolon. All right, and basically we're allowing it, we're restricting this text box to these characters only, all right? And obviously this is up to you if you want to set it, but if you want to make sure that they're filling it out properly, this is a good way to use it. All right, and for uh, the telephone, telephone would be a good idea to set up telephone underscore name dot restrict. And if you wanted just to restrict it to uh, numbers, it's as easy as doing zero hyphen nine, all right? And um, obviously you might want to include the hyphen on this one, all right? So backslash, back, backslash, backslash, hyphen, all right? Two more backslashes, all right? Space, we can include uh, parentheses in case somebody wanted to do that. You can do uh, backslash, backslash, opening parentheses, backslash, backslash, space, more backsplashes, closing parentheses, and then more backsplashes, and then backslashes, <laughs> semicolon, all right, and you're restricting it to uh, obviously one through nine, all right, hyphens, opening and closing parentheses. All right, and the uh, next option that would be definitely worth you knowing is the uh, max amount of characters to put inside of a text box, all right, and obviously this will be up to you. I'm going to put this on the brief name, brief name dot max chars equals, I'm going to set this at 300, semicolon, all right. And what this is doing is basically if we publish this out, all right, if I wanted to copy this, you know, 25 times, it wouldn't actually work, all right. It's going to stop me right there, all right. So I can't paste any more text that is in there, all right. So um, I guess we can go ahead and fix the scroll bar to this since we're uh, in scrolling territory. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and uh, hop into setting that up. All right, so let's see. All right, come down here, grab the uh, scroll bar component layer. This is really short, but I wanted to uh, separate this from everything else because obviously this will be optional for you. Um, so come down here, I've got this layer set up. Got some uh, clean action script. Go ahead and grab in here. And the first thing that we need to do is import the actual scroll bar for the controls. All right, so we're going to say import fl.controls.ui scroll bar semicolon. All right, and remember our instance name for this scroll bar, excuse me, instance name for the scroll bar is just scroll underscore bar. All right, and that's what we're going to uh, reference right here. Let's hop back into it. All right, uh, you can say scroll underscore bar dot scroll target equals and obviously what we want to do is we want to attach this to the brief text right 
or the brief input text box. So we reference the uh, instance name on the brief input text box. All right, so we're going to say brief underscore name semicolon. All right, and we need to uh, set the boundaries of this, or, nece or not necessarily the boundaries, but the uh, parameters of the scroll bar so it basically stays you know, in perspective as opposed to the text. So what we can say here is scroll underscore bar dot height equals brief underscore name dot height. All right, so we're basically going to make the scroll bar as tall as the input text box for the brief, okay? We'll close that with the semicolon, next line, then we can set up, um, you know, we want to attach this or we, not necessarily attach this, but we want to the, we want the scroll bar to actually move to the text box. All right, and a way of doing it, um, you know, by perfect numbers or a perfect equation is by doing it like this: scroll underscore bar dot move uh, opening parentheses brief underscore name dot x plus brief underscore name dot width comma brief underscore name dot y closing parentheses semicolon all right and ultimately what we're doing it here is we're pushing this to the x axis and the width of the brief name all right so ultimately right here what this is saying is it's attaching it to the top left of the actual um, uh, brief name input text box all right and setting it as the y is basically going to uh, attach it you know top to bottom okay all right so our next step, uh, which is optional here, you want this to automatically read through the text, all right, to basically tell it to uh, somewhat update to actually, you know, create the scroll bar. So what you can do here, scroll underscore bar dot update, opening closing parentheses, semicolon, all right, and uh, that is it. So let's go ahead and give that a test drive, all right. Go ahead and uh, paste this. All right, looks good so far. You can scroll. All right, allowing you to scroll. All right, looks good. Okay, that ends the flash email form using PHP sample video tutorial. You can find the full video tutorial along with source files and all relevant information on masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.